My name is Valeria Pizarro. I am um, the manager of the choral program at the Peru Institute for Marine Science. We are right now in Abaco, specifically at Sandy Key. That is an area that has a sandy key reef that is a patch reef that is very important for us and for all the people that live in Abaco and visit Abaco. And what we're doing here is we are in a field season that is just for treating corals that are diseased by stony coral tissue loss disease. So we are here with my team and we are trying to get as many corals treated as we can. So what we've been doing here in the Bahamas is mainly assessments just to understand how the stony coral tissue loss disease is, is spreading around the different family islands. But as well, we, we, we want to know how far the disease is going and how it's affecting the coral populations within the reefs that we are doing assessments. Uh, when we have that information, we can prioritize what corals and what reef areas we can treat. So what we do is just when we choose which areas are we going to treat, we just go to the place and we have some kind of rules set that if they kind of uh, if the corals are big and they have small or lesions, we will treat them. If we have a tiny coral and we just small living tissue, we won't treat those corals. So we cannot treat every single reef and we cannot treat every single coral of the reef in the reef that we decide to do treatments. So what we do is we just go to the place and we mix all the amoxicillin with the base to be. We go in the water and we, during that dive we treat as many corals as we can and we collect all the information. To be able to do a follow-up, that's why we do photomosaics. Uh, because we cannot tag and treat all the corals just because it's time more than anything. So we have those plots so we can understand how the um, treatment is, is effective or not. Uh, so we do a follow up with that and we do have some colonies that are very particular and we know how to find them when we get back to those reefs. So usually I go to those corals just to see if the treatment has worked or not. Finding the effectiveness of the treatment in some species has been really great. It's been very depressing finding that for some species, even though you treat them ever like once and, then, and again and again, it doesn't stop the disease to killing the coral. But it's been interesting to see that the treatment does work, that some corals don't get reinfected even though they are susceptible to the disease and it gives us mostly hope. What we're doing here right now it's important in terms of we with the information that we're collecting we are going to be able to understand a little better how this disease is affecting coral populations and in time with the, when we analyze all the data and when we have everything, we will be able to tell how the disease, the disease is affecting coral reefs and how this is going to affect the functionality of coral reefs and how this in the long term is going to affect the Bahamians and the people that live in coastal communities and depend on coral reefs. And this is a good way to see how this disease is going to affect other reefs areas that are not affected yet. Uh, so the idea is that we collect that information. Unfortunately, right now we're not doing as many research in terms of identifying the pathogen that can help us to find other ways to stop the disease. But I do think that it's important just to understand how are we changing, like all the, all the reefs are changing, how this is going to have more effects on in the long term. Not, not right now, but in the mid long term is going to have like large effects in the functionality and our lives as humans. Um, and maybe we can use all that information in core restoration projects in the near future. 
how has vessel access, like you get with Sea Keepers and the Sailing Yacht Andromeda, helped you with your research? Oh. The help of having been able to work in this boat for these five days, it's, I think that when people don't work on this, they don't understand how important it is to be so close to the place that you're going to be diving all day, because it reduces the time of just going around to like getting from your hotel to the marina, to get the tanks, to go back to the reef, to get filled tanks again. So it reduces the time that you are not wasting, but doing all the things that are not in the field. Having access to these kind of boats help us really a lot. We can accomplish so much more with this kind of access that really no one understands, but it makes our life and what we do so easy. And I do think that more effective that it's been amazing and I really thank you.